What is going on lads? It's Billy the Kid here and today I have another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you lads today. In the gameplay I was playing Nose Hair Canal's Conquest. So in this gameplay commentary I'm going to be going on about several topics. Uh, mainly Battlefield 4, the PS4, the Xbox 720 I think it's called and the DayZ standalone that might be coming to a PlayStation 3 Xbox near you sometime in the future. So, the first thing I want to be going on about is, of course, Battlefield 4. Now, the what we know Battlefield 4 so far is it's a direct sequel. So, they're not, thank God, copying uh, Black Ops 2 and setting it in the near future with, you know, space robots and, <laughs> you know, crazy robot tentacles on young women. So... Thank God they're not copying that. What? Crazy robot tentacle women? What, what, what's wrong with that? <laughs> but what we know so far is Battlefield 4 will be a direct, a direct sequel to Battlefield 3. Um, so, you know, it's literally taking place probably the next day. I liked the ending of Battlefield 3 where we see, uh, what's the Russian guy's name? Dima. Where he's writing a letter, you know, and it looks like he's, he's about to shoot himself because he's suffering from radiation sickness. You know, some of you haven't played the demo, but basically, right right at the ending, he gets a knock on his front door and he picks up a gun. So it looks like it's going to take place right there. Hopefully, anyway. But what we do know is that Battlefield 4 is set in the present day, which makes you wonder, what are they going to do new in terms of gameplay? in Battlefield 4 that isn't already in Battlefield 3. Are they really, you know, I hope that um, the graphics and the gameplay will be much better. I mean, right now, for Battlefield 3 is really good. I like it. You know, Battlefield 3 is my number one game that I play, but in Battlefield 4 I hope they really do set a good standard on team play, on gameplay at large, and gunplay. In terms of graphics, like I said, I hope it's it's much more sharper, it's much more cleaner. You know, enough of the sun, for God's sake, guys, give us a goddamn, like, rain map. I know it's raining in Grand Bazaar, like I said, that's why I like Grand Bazaar, for a few reasons, because there's no sun. But I hope, like, it's set other than Iran. I hope for, like, new maps, like, some of the view lads are saying they want you wanted maps in New York, and in Paris, and, well, we do have one in Paris, we actually have a few in Paris. But, um, a few Moscow, uh, Boston, you know, a few American maps. That would be nice. I would I would agree to like to see that, just as long as it's not sun. Or if they are going to put it in sun, what about like a sunset type of map? Do they already have one of those? No, I don't know. Um, but I hope to see more diversity in the maps in Battlefield 4. For example, location, you know, types of maps. Are they going to be urban maps, desert maps? You know, small, you know, they could do, just like in Bad Company 2, a variety. For example, uh, Heavy Metal, I think it's called. Or, you know that forest one where you start off in like a, a green field and you, there's a huge area of no man's land. You get into a small little village, you take out an MCOM, I can't remember the goddamn name of the map. But that was a brilliant map and then it just goes on from there and then you get into a big town. Where you take out, you know, two MCOMs. Then you go into the hills where you take out their final base. I can't remember the name of it. Put in the comment section what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope to see some of that in Battlefield 4. A little bit of variety. <laughs> I can't even say the damn name. A little bit of variety in the maps. In terms of gameplay, you already know. Like, you know, I, I swear they have to, um, they have to promote PTFO. They should do an ad like you know they promote playing the objective and team play you know I'm not saying there's no team play in PTFO with randoms in Battlefield 3 they're rare but it's a rare occurrence I have to say it's a rare occurrence anyway but if I have to choose if I had a choice if you lads had a choice would you like Battlefield 4 to come out for the PS4 and not for the PlayStation 3. Now personally, I would like to see Battlefield 4 come out for the PlayStation 3 and for the PlayStation 4. If you remember Call of Duty 3, that came out in 2006. It came out for the PlayStation 2 and it came out for the PlayStation 3. I think the PS3 was just coming out 
in 2006. And that makes you wonder. That, you know, that makes you think that's how old the PlayStation 3 is. So, you know, that's why I would like to see for Battlefield 4. Because obviously when the PS4 comes out, it's going to be very expensive. And, you know, few of us are going to have, like, um, the money to pay for it. If you're younger, you probably just has to, you're just probably ask Santi to uh, get get you a PS4. Maybe yeah, you know what? Get Santi to get you a PS4 and a 720. You know, for God's sakes, it's Santa Claus, and you'd be you'd have to be very good to uh, <laughs> get to uh, brand new next gen consoles. But hey, would you like Battlefield 4 to come out for the PS3 and PS4, or just the PS4? That's just my thoughts. I think it should come out for both the PS3 and the PS4. Right, you know, obviously it's going to look nicer and crisper and much more uh, better in terms of you know player count on PS4. But I hope in PS3 they at least bring in the 64-man type of uh, gameplay. They really have to implement that for Battlefield 4 for PS3. Otherwise. It's going to hurt the fan base massively because obviously you see all these gameplay videos. <coughs> Excuse me. You obviously see a lot of gameplay videos from the PC, which has the advantage of slightly better graphics and, of course, the 64 man capability. Now, if they don't bring in that for Battlefield 4 for PS3, it's going to hurt them in the long run. People are going to go and buy PCs upgrade their PCs, graphics cards, whatever, just to get the 64-man capability they get. Obviously, there are others, like myself, that are used to console gameplay and won't mind the 64-man, but hey, the 64-man will be a nice addition, so I hope they do bring that in for Battlefield 4 on the PS3, let alone on PS4. If they can't bring it on PS4, then there's going to be a serious problem in terms of the technology of consoles in comparing in comparison to in comparison, <laughs> in comparison to PC, God damn it, my words are going all over the place today. Anyway, so sorry to spook you with that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's what I want to know from you lads. Would you like Battlefield 4 to come out for uh, the PS4 just on its own, not on PS3, or would you like it to come out on PS3 and on PS4? Now that that's out of the way. I want to talk something a little bit less Battlefield. And that is the DayZ mod for Arma 2. Now, obviously, it's right now only on PC. And I will hopefully get you lads some footage very soon. My graphics card and power pack are going to be installed tomorrow. And hopefully, I will be able to get you some footage very soon. But there is news. The DayZ standalone that is hopefully coming out, coming out for Christmas in December. Uh, there was there was a lot of talk for a standalone. Uh, excuse me, for porting. For um, like I said, I have my words all over the place today. For they're they're hoping to port the game onto console. Now, what do you think about that? I'm sure there's some of you out there that watch DayZ videos, like from Frankie PC. And Jack Frags, they're two lads I watch, they're awesome content, go check them out lads. But you don't have the money to buy a PC or upgrade your PC or whatever, you don't have the capability to play the game on PC. How would you like to play Daisy on the PS3 and Xbox? Would you like that or would you not like that? Would you rather play the game on PC for those who have it and not have it go on the console? And Tell me why. I, I would personally like to see the game ported onto console. I think it's, an, it's a nice addition. If you remember playing Operation Flashpoint years and years ago, there was a port for Xbox. So it is possible that they could bring it on to console. If they don't once, they can do it again. Lads, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Please let me know in the comment section what you would like to see in the future from my channel. And I wish to thank you for watching the video. And I hope you leave a like. I hope you leave a rating. Doesn't matter if it's a dislike. Just tell me what you didn't like. Lads, Billy the Kid here. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again.